The other kind of ethical dilemmas come from outside your sphere of influence. You didn't ask for them, and you've done little, if anything, to encourage them. Examples might be, my boss is making lewd sexual remarks and advances. I work with someone who can't tell the truth. Our top management is corrupt and arrogant. The customer is always asking for special favors. I'm being pressured to cover up for the mismanagement of my supervisor. I'm being isolated and discriminated against for my views. For these kinds of ethical dilemmas, you need a strategy and a system to help. Your ingenuity, experience, and character may only get you so far, but what you need are strategies that you can pull from your arsenal. So, regardless of whether you're dealing with dilemmas of conscience or from outside your sphere of influence, you need to consider the stakeholders. Stakeholders are all the other people or parties who have some connection to your problem or situation. You often don't think about stakeholders who are connected to your ethical decisions because you usually only think about your own self-interest and survival in an ethical crisis. But you are not alone. Your decision oftentimes have consequences and stakeholders far beyond what you initially considered. So who are the stakeholders? Well, there are receivers, those who are on the receiving end of your ethical decisions, third parties, the overall environment that affects everyone. And of course, there's yourself, both you physically and emotionally and spiritually. Remember, your career, reputation, family safety, security, and your human spirit and character are at stake in your moral decisions. It's sobering to think about all the stakeholders who are affected by your ethical decisions. You may not have intentionally intended to hurt anyone else or drag them into a crisis, but you did. Don't just assume that your decisions will have no consequences beyond your tiny world. Think about all the stakeholders before you act, not just how the consequences affect only you.